So with the Asus ROG Swift PG348Q, my god, what a name, expected sometime this year, I've had increasing questions regarding it and the interest I've seen on different forums about whether to wait for it or to buy the Acer Predator X34. So I thought I'd do a video on my thoughts with the information I have available currently and see what conclusion I could come to. Now, the bedrock of the debate comes from the fact that both monitors are extremely similar. Both are 21x9, 3440x1440, IPS, MAT, 100Hz, 4 millisecond response times, G-Sync curved monitors. From what I've read, they are supposedly using the exact same screen panel, so performance should be identical, and the stats all support this. Both have one 1.2a display port and one HDMI 1.4 port, and whilst we don't know the rest of the Swift's I.O. options, you can be pretty damn sure that they'll match up identically or very similarly to the Predator's four USB 3.0 ports, headphone port, etc. The only difference straight off the bat are the two 7W speakers in the Predator as opposed to the two 2W speakers in the Swift. Both have ambient lights, and though I'd say the Predator wins here with its line of LEDs under the bottom edge, compared to that of the Swift which has some kind of light projection onto the desk directly under the stand, again it's just a small part of a monitor, it's not why you're buying the monitor. Both screens have a lot of extra little bits of software like FPS counters, different gaming modes, extensive colour settings and huge amounts more. Basically both are fully loaded and you'll probably find there is far more there than you'll ever need. Other small differences include a potentially smaller bezel on the Swift compared to the Predator, though it's hard to say the Predator has a bad bezel at all, and really the stands are the biggest difference, a ridiculous point to be able to say. The Predator has only basic height adjust, but lacks any kind of swivel in any direction, making it extremely cumbersome. It does however have the ability to tilt up and down a good distance. The Swift, on the other hand, boasts an improved stand that can swivel, a feature I really do wish the Predator had. However, this is all if you're just going to stick with the native stand. As their vase mounts, you can just switch in whatever you want if you're not happy with them, so it really doesn't matter. And really, as you should have worked out by now, the differences are minute. And so the question still lies at what the hell is the difference between the two screens? And I genuinely am struggling to find that answer. As it seems hard to distinguish between the two, why would you wait for the Swift when the Predator is already out and proven itself to be fantastic and it's gotten over most of the issues that were plaguing its release? So really for me it comes down to a few basic things that Asus must get right and if they do it could really benefit demand for the Swift. They need to avoid the Predator's very bumpy start, iron out any of the technical issues to a minimum like refresh rates not reaching 100, something I have personal experience with, or dead stuck pixels and blue banding among other things. Obviously you'll get the occasional sour monitor, but they essentially need to avoid the infamous start that the Predator is now synonymous with. In addition, I wish they would fix the very small issues I have with the Predator, problems like coil wine and improve the OSD menu system. Small things that alone don't mean anything when buying a monitor on the grand scale of things, but when you're talking about two near identical monitors, the small details are the things that will distinguish one from the other and allow one to win out in the end. Now, of course, it's really easy to say they should fix this stuff and much harder in reality to fix them, but they have had the time and they are releasing long enough after Acer and I really do hope that they have attempted to combat at least some of these points. But as I have continually read, most people are really sceptical about Asus's ability to change this stuff. A large majority of voices assuredly arguing that the use of identical screen panels means the issues are extremely likely to persist from the Predator into the Swift. In the end, who knows, until the monitor is released, we can't compare the two side by side, so it's all conjecture. So back to the question of do you wait for the Swift or just drop the money for a Predator now, 
I would say it doesn't matter at all. The Predator is a phenomenal monitor, and I have little doubt the Swift will be as well. The differences between the two are going to be so little, you'll basically get the same experience regardless of your choice, and I suppose price is going to be a seriously important point for most. If one is even just slightly cheaper than the other, it already has a leg up in interest from most of its audience, as these monitors are already at the top end of budgets for most people. But I really want to see what you guys think. In the comments below, say your choice and why. Maybe we can dig up details I've not come across and that can sway our minds as to which is the best choice. I'm going to call it and say the Predator is my choice of the two. Anyway, for anything else 21x9, be sure to check out my channel. And if there's anything that's not there, then let me know in the comments and I'll try and cover it, whatever it is. See you later.